thank y'all for staying uh, uh, just tuned in with us and everything. If this is your very first time watching us, my name is Darius. And I am Monique. And we go by IDMC, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. This is Unity Ministries. Yep. We're going to give you guys some, some uh, insight on, um, yeah, marriages, relationships, and the Word of God. So, mm -hmm. some special announcement towards the end of the video. Just stay tuned. Yep. Uh, but, guys, we want to go into our segment. So, today we want to talk about uh, put the ball in your court. One of the things that we wanted to share and, and, and to talk about is that in relationships, we do have, we carry our responsibility, you know. Let's just go into our segment and uh, right. Monique, what you, what you got on that? First point in going into keeping the ball uh, in your court or putting the ball in your court, um, we like to advise y'all not to, not to get persuaded uh, by others. Mm, okay. And uh, what I mean by that is uh, not letting how others treat you or how they treat others be a reflection of how uh, how you treat others, you know, yeah, or right. how you even treat yourself. Right. I know back in school, we used to call that peer pressure, right. you know, getting peer pressure. And as an adult, there's still a, a thing called peer pressure. Yeah. Um, so you have to be bold enough, wise enough, strong enough, if you will, mm -hmm. to to be able to not let that persuade you. Right. And uh, my, one of the points I want to hit on is say that your friendships are your, your, yeah, your friends are designed to bring you closer to God, not closer to sin. Okay, so that's one thing you got to understand. The people that you choose to be your friend, the people that you choose to be in your close circle, these people are supposed to edify you and bring you closer to God's exactly. uh, uh, plan for your life and things like that. So you got to ask yourself that question, man. All these people that's in my, my close uh, proximity, all these people getting me closer or pulling me further away? Are they encouraging right. me to do things negative towards my spouse? Are they encouraging me to, to, to you know, act this way at, at the job and all that stuff? So that's one thing. And I want to just throw this scripture out. Proverbs, I, think, I want to say it's 27, but I know it's in Proverbs. It says a, a, a wound from a friend is better than multiple kisses from an enemy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if somebody is actually your friend, they would actually let you know, hey, man, you stepping out of the will of God. Mm -hmm. That ain't right. This and that. And that may hurt to hear that from time to time if you're on your own path. Right. But the truth of the matter is, that is better than having false people around you, you know, uh, uh, telling you this and that about yourself when you know for a fact that that is driving you more and more into darkness. Yeah, so That's good. Um, yeah. That's so good. anything else you got, baby? Yeah. Um, have control over your conversations. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the words that uh, you or others use use in conversation uh, they can sometimes uh really affect how you feel for the day or you know the or it can it can it can affect how a person in general feels you know for the day mm -hmm. so you want to you know remember to use kind words uh um and if you feel the conversation going uh downwards uh remember that you have the you can have the ball or you can put the ball back in your court and you can change that conversation to something positive, but from something negative to something positive. Yeah. You know, use um, light words, if you will. Yeah. And it's funny because you do that often. Uh, Monique does that a lot. Uh, if something is uncomfortable. So what do y'all think about X, Y, Z? And that's a good way, by the way. So anything to kind of make a transitional statement. Anywho. Yeah. So stuff like that. I mean, just... Ways to kind of maybe switch it over back over to your side or put the ball back in your court, if mm -hmm. you will. You got to understand the fruit of the spirit. So uh, the Bible talks about love, uh, love, uh, gentleness, I mean, long suffering, patience, all that stuff. If a conversation is not gearing like that or it doesn't sound like it's full of patience, full mm -hmm. of kindness and all that, you got to understand, okay, where is this coming from? Right. Okay, identify where it's coming from, shut it down, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and keep things moving. Yeah. Um uh, and all, like I said, keep things moving with transition. Make it go yeah. back to what it, what it is that you feel is more healthy to communicate about. Yeah. And the last thing we want to hit on, guys, is that um, good news, we have free will. Okay, mm -hmm. We do have free will to do whatever we choose to do. So Indeed, if, do. if my spouse tells me something back, I have the right to tell her something back mm -hmm. negatively if I want to. Um, but the also, on the contrary, we don't follow, the, the I guess, the will uh, of God for our marriage, for our relationships, for our friendships, if we don't follow that, um, then we will suffer consequences. Yeah. Give an example. In Genesis, 
uh, God told Adam, you can eat from any tree, right? Any tree. But if you choose, if you fight from that particular tree, you are surely to die. Mm -hmm. You are surely to die. That's what he told him in the beginning of the, in the, uh, of the book. And what I'm saying is that if we choose to just act out of emotions, if we choose to just do whatever we like to do, you know, I'm a, she said this, I'm going to say that. He mm -hmm. did this, I'm going to do this. If we choose to just do whatever we like, there right. will be challenges. And those challenges can be unfulfillment, mm -hmm. right? It can be, it can be uh, unhappiness. Mm -hmm. it, can be, it can be a lot of other things within your relationship. But we have to make sure that we are choosing to align ourselves with the word and with the will of God for our lives. That, uh, uh, consequences. Right. What is that, Molly? No, so, it's a skit. Oh, <laughs> Key and Peele Squid. Yeah, Key and Peele Squid is a hilarious <laughs> skit, by the way. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, so guys, that's what we got. Five points, man. Five yep. points today for our very first video of 2020. Yep, let's get uh, this short and sweet. Yeah, we are excited to be back here. Uh, sharing some more content. Uh, we did say we have a special announcement. The mm -hmm. announcement is we are coming back. I don't know how to do the drum roll. With love trainings. Right, guys? We are doing our love trainings again. Uh, confetti falls from the sky. All that stuff. We are, we are doing our love trainings again. Once a month starting off. All right? Mm -hmm. Going into 2021. Our first one would be in January. We will announce that date, so stay tuned to our, our social platforms. Yep. But uh, guys, thank y'all for watching again. My name is Darius. And I'm Monique. And we are back, and we'll see y'all later. Bye.